guys welcome to vlogmas day two i got home from work and changed i look like a hot mess but you know it's fine uh we're coming into the pet room right now i'm gonna just give you guys updates on everyone for this evening and then i'm gonna show you guys the mac bun setup because i haven't really showed where he is he has the whole basement to himself he is not with my other two bunnies so i'm going to show you guys his basement setup and some cute clips of him tonight and then we will just see what else we get up to because i don't really have any plans we have ron and neville doing good that you can't see ron because he's black and on a black rug hello they're doing good. I obviously haven't spot cleaned yet tonight. We got Jelly Bean. You just see his butt because he's being a comfort pig. Georgie being hateful, hiding in his... Oh, there's his nose. Hiding in his cube. What are you doing? And I don't think I've talked about this in a video yet, so we'll go ahead and just talk about it in today's vlog. So uh, you can see, obviously, Georgie and Jelly Bean are separated. I had to separate them one morning because Georgie just would not leave Jelly Bean alone. Like, he was mounting him and just, like, squishing him flat. At one point, I shooed Georgie away from Jelly Bean, and Jelly Bean was, like, laying out like a starfish. Like, his feet were out, and he just was laying flat because Georgie was just smushing him. And I was like, guys, we're not doing this because he just wouldn't let Jelly relax. He wouldn't let him eat. It just was, like, constant, constant, constant. So... I just decided to separate them and figured if I needed to, I could try to rebond them. But I'm not kidding. Like, Jelly Bean seems like a different pig. He's so relaxed. I mean, he's laying down right now, just hanging out. He's been doing popcorns. He's been doing laps of his cage, which obviously it's small. So he can't do big laps. But I just, I think they're happier separate. So I'm going to figure out how to keep them side by side or at least side by side with other pigs without. You know, I don't want anybody to not have neighbors to talk to. They're each in about a two by three right now. This big cage that they're in is like just short of a two by six. So they're each in like just short of a two by three, which obviously I'm not. Well, it's a little bit bigger than a two by three because this is wider than two, but it's not obviously what I would want. It's like not even barely the minimum for a pig. So I'm going to try to figure out how to reconfigure this room. I don't really have a lot of table space left to sort out this problem, but what we're thinking about doing is trying to bond Callie with Johnny in June, but we will see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated through Vlogmas, obviously, but I'm just not sure yet what we're going to do, but just know in this video. This is not how Jelly Bean and Georgie are staying. I don't like their cages this small. Like, it's fine for the moment, but it's, they're definitely too small, especially for males. So, it's definitely not permanent. I just have to figure out what the heck to do because I obviously wasn't expecting them to just suddenly not get along. So, that's what happens when you have pigs sometimes. They just throw a loop at you. We have the babies being comfy. Johnny Pig is showing off that he needs his nails clipped which we are doing this weekend. They also need baths, so we'll be doing some grooming this weekend for sure. Junebug really needs a bath really bad. Her butt is like brown. And this one right here will also be getting a haircut. See that right there? That little tuft? Yeah, that's his foot. That's a mat. So he's starting to shed again, or has been, like that on his butt. That's the start of a mat. As soon as he starts shedding, his fur just instantly mats. Like, if you've ever had something that's, like, needle felted, like, felted wool, that's what his fur does. It's ridiculous. Bunnies were bred to be this way, and they can't take care of it themselves. It's a mess. So, he is overdue for a haircut. He is a little bit of a mess, but, again, we'll be doing a ton of grooming this weekend because they definitely need it. I didn't show the bunnies much yesterday either, so here are the bunnies. Andy, like I said, needs groomed. His fur is long. He's got some mats going on that need brushed out, cut out, clipped. He needs clipped. I think their nails should be good. I did them not that long ago. Mikey is not interested. Andy's a little bit interested, but we'll get him sorted out. Part of the problem with Andy's mats is like Mike makes them worse. Like Mikey tries to help groom him and just makes them worse. 
But here's just a quick real life look for you guys at what it looks like in this room after a day. Um, I vacuumed this floor yesterday. Hay is all over the place because of that hay rack. Just hay. Hay is everywhere. Cages haven't been spot cleaned, but I mean, they're not bad. They were spot cleaned yesterday. So we're gonna definitely spot clean tonight. So this is Mac Bun's room set up. He has a shredded toy, he has his veggie dish, litter box, hay bin, and then he's got his water under there. He actually has, that's a water bowl and he has like the water feeder thing. Then he's just got like a fleece. But he's really good. I mean, he's got his litter box and he's really well litter trained. We had a couple issues. I don't know if you guys can see when we first got him he did that, but he hasn't done it since like the first couple days. So we have to figure out how to deep clean that mattress. So if you have any tips, let me know on deep cleaning a mattress. But obviously we took the sheets and stuff off and like washed all of that. But he loves to lay on the beds, which it's good. Like he uses the litter box fine now. It's not a problem. So we don't really have to worry about him being in here with the beds since he stopped doing that. But he loves to lay on them. He is in his room at nighttime. So we have the gate so that he can't get out. Um, and then we're gonna keep him in here at nighttime so that he's used to being in here because we have when we have people over, they're normally in our basement. So we wanna make sure that he's okay like being locked in here without like any issues because we don't want to risk him, you know, getting out of the basement. So this is Mac Bun's little setup for now. Mm -hmm. 